Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would do another weight loss video. I love making weight loss videos. They're so much fun and I know that you guys love them so much. So today I wanted to talk about the truth about big weight loss and some of the things that you don't really hear that often and that are never really talked about. Definitely leave it down below. Definitely leave it in the comments down below. Um, if you have any other things that like no one talks about about weight loss um, so we can discuss that I love talking about weight loss I think it's such a fascinating topic but before we get started make sure that you're subscribed to my channel and that you follow me on Instagram so yeah so make sure you subscribe to my channel and you follow me on Instagram also, um, to see before and after pictures of me, you should follow me on Instagram because I have all the pictures on there. Anyways, so let's get started. So I waited myself on Instagram a few days ago and I'm just under... And I'm just under 200 pounds. I am so happy. I haven't lost 200 pounds yet. I was almost at... I lost, I think, 185 pounds. I've... I'm almost there at a weight loss of 200 pounds. I'm so excited and so happy. I haven't finished losing weight, but um, yeah, I'm on my way there and I still have like a good 50 pounds to lose, I think. Yeah, something like that. Anyways, so let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that I feel like no one really talks about um, but for me, I feel like it is the truth for me. I'm not sure if you guys feel the same way, but being obese, I feel like I've been obese my whole life. I've never been skinny. Um, I'm still not skinny, but I'm like on my way there. I'm past halfway of my weight loss, if that makes sense. Um, and my whole life, I felt like my whole life revolved around my weight. That was the thing that defined me. There was nothing else that defined me other than the number on a scale and my size. Um, and I have always felt like 100% of my problems would be solved if I was skinny. And that's just not the truth. Um, it's just not. Being morbidly obese, my whole life I've been morbidly obese. There's just a few things that change. You know, you might have more self-confidence, but truly your life, your day-to-day -day life does change. There's a lot of big changes, but, you know, 99% of your problems will not be solved because you're skinny. Um, they are just not going to. And that's such a harsh reality because... When I feel like sometimes when you're morbidly obese, you really do live your life like thinking. Yeah, when you're morbidly obese, you really do go on with your life thinking that 99% of your problems, like all your problems come before because you're morbidly obese. And when you get skinny and you realize that you still have those problems, it's such a big shocker. And you realize that it wasn't just your weight. It was other things in your weight that were causing you um, to have problems. It's kind of a tough pill to swallow. <laughs> you know, when you get skinny, um, you're still the same person with the same problems. You still have the same successes, still have the same failures. And you realize that your life failures and, you know, the things that you failed in life... When you get skinny, I feel like you kind of start realizing that it wasn't because you were fat. It was because of what you were doing. I don't know if that makes sense, but it does make sense in my head. <laughs> um, yeah. Tell me in the comments if you feel the same way. Okay, number two is binge eating. So... When you start losing weight, um, you're going to have a lot of setbacks and you will binge eat throughout your weight loss journey, especially if it's a year-long, two-year-long journey. At some point, you will start to binge eat. And I've always had the mentality that, let's say you start the day, you have a healthy breakfast, skinny breakfast, and then for lunch, you crave it and you have a donut. My mentality is like, okay, I screwed up everything. Now it's just, let's just binge eat. Like, let's just have more donuts because it's, it's over. Like, 
the day is over. I'm gonna gain weight from that first donut that I ate. I screwed up everything already. Um, but that's such a bad mentality to have because really like if you are on a diet or on a lifestyle change and sometimes you will eat one donut or a small bag of chips, it really won't affect much. But if you, if you think that it will and you start eating again because you feel like you've screwed up everything and it's over already, then it does affect. Like you will gain weight from all the extra food that you ate throughout the day because you know, you will gain weight from all the extra food that you ate because you thought it was over because you ate that one donut or, the, or that one bag of chips. You know, and that's such a bad mentality to have and I have that and I struggle a lot with that. But just know that if you eat a cookie or whatever, a muffin or whatever that is a little bit more high calorie, it doesn't mean that it's over. It doesn't mean that you're going to gain so much weight tomorrow and that you can eat whatever you want because it doesn't matter because you already gained the weight. Does that make sense? Know that it's okay sometimes to have a cookie and, you know, the important thing is to not have 10 cookies or 5 cookies um, and to really limit yourself. Okay, number three is seeing people that have gone through really big weight losses and feeling sad because you don't look like them. So sometimes you're going to see people on social media or, yeah, I feel like on social media it's more prominent on, um, you know, on Instagram and you see before and after pictures and their bodies look amazing and they had like 200 pound weight loss, 300 pound weight loss. And then you look at your body and you're like, I don't look like them. Why? And you feel sad. You feel like you failed. You know, you were so happy about your weight loss, but you kind of feel like you failed when you compare yourself to other people um, who had also big weight losses. But whatever it is, don't compare yourself to other people who lost the same weight as you lost because everyone's different. Everyone's going to lose differently and going to look differently too. And you shouldn't feel bad about it or you shouldn't feel depressed or you feel like you've done all this work and you still don't look good and you and you still don't look good compared to others okay number four i think it's number four wearing clothes that are still too big for you and kind of feeling like you're still an obese person i don't know if anyone's struggling with that but for me like i wear clothes that is too big for me and sometimes I do reach out for clothing that is too big for me I don't know why I feel like I'm safer in clothing that is too big for me um also I'm scared to like go into stores and try clothing it's kind of weird because when I was obese nothing would fit when I was almost 400 pounds absolutely nothing would fit even um going to plus size stores was very difficult because nothing would fit and now I'm like scared to get that same feeling going into normal stores, feeling like nothing will fit again. I don't know why, I'm just like kind of scared. <laughs> I don't know if anyone has experienced that, um, but tell me down below how it is for you to go shopping after weight loss. Okay, number five is uh, losing weight is very hard, but keeping it off is even harder. And I'm not, I'm that, I'm not, I'm, Wait. I'm not at that stage yet. I'm still losing weight, but if I wanted to, I could regain weight. If I started to binge eat, if I didn't eat properly, if I didn't do any exercise throughout the week, I would regain a lot of weight. And it's just super hard to not go back to old habits and to, and to portion size and to portion control. Making sure that you don't eat too much, making sure that you don't eat too much every day. Sometimes you might eat too much. There's days where you might eat a little bit more, but then I have to compensate on days and I have I have to compensate on other days and eat a little bit less. Anyway, so that is it for my weight loss video. Leave it in the comments down below what things that like no one tells about weight loss. If you have any other ideas, um, please follow me on Instagram and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I love you friends so much. And I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.